I'm Chef Sang Yoon, Father's Office, and you're in my most recent restaurant, Lakshan, here in Culver City, California. Our cuisine is simply modern Southeast Asia. On our menu, we take the best parts of Southeast Asia, both from fine dining and just from the street. Today, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, our most popular rice dish here at Lakshan. It's um, black rice. Black rice, if you've never tried this, uh, comes from the, uh, the, the Himalayas and southern China. It's really popular over there. It was once called forbidden rice because I guess once upon a time it was just reserved for royalty, but now anyone can have it. It's widely available here in the States now. Uh, what's amazing about black rice, not just the flavor, nutty, the texture is chewy. Uh, it just has a really great mouthfeel to it. Um, traditionally, it's eaten as a steamed rice, but today I'm gonna to show you how we do it at Lakshan as a, as a fried rice. Really simple ingredients, really brings the flavor of this rice out. Okay, we're gonna turn on our jade wok and get some serious BTU going. About 140,000 to be exact. Sounds like a jet taking off. Traditional peanut oil has a really high uh, smoke point, which is absolutely essential in a wok. We're gonna start this dish with some um, Cantonese sweet sausage, lap shang. Nice, rich, fatty, has a really wonderful sweetness when it renders. That's gonna go in the wok first. I'm turn the wok down. I'm gonna add a little bit of a um, nice few cloves of roasted garlic. You can see that nice kind of caramelized color. A little bit of minced red onion. And the rice. Now this rice has already been steamed. It's been cooked for about half an hour, two to one ratio, and then cooled. So this rice was actually made yesterday, which is the way you want to make fried rice. Walk back on again. And now you gotta move fast. And here we just want to integrate all the ingredients. At this point, you can hear that crackle, which is really what the wok can do that no other appliance can do. And what we have here is if, if you move the ingredients around the wok at that temperature, you're going to get something called wok hay, which is translated to the breath of the wok, which is something that just, there's, there's no saute pan burner combination, no matter how, how long you leave it on there, that's going to maintain this kind of heat. Okay, and at this point, I'm just going to finish the dish with a little bit of um, threads of chili. I'm going to turn the wok back on. A little Shaoxing wine, a little aged rice wine. You can use a dry sherry instead if you don't have this. And just a little bit of Chinese light soy sauce. Just a tiny amount. After the chili, we're just gonna put a little fresh cilantro leaf and a pinch of salt, a pinch of white pepper, and one more time around the block. Okay. One of the great things about cooking in a wok is how fast it goes. All you have to do is have all your ingredients prepared there. The preparation and having all your ingredients uh, cut to size and at the ready right by you is paramount important. The wok is fast, hot, but at the same time it's a little unforgiving. So it doesn't let you run around the kitchen. You gotta stand in one place and be ready to go start to finish. But if you are prepared, it will reward you. It will get food done in an incredibly quick manner and uh, also deliver 
completely unparalleled flavor. And to make a terrific topping for the black rice, a traditional, just simple fried egg. Trick to a great fried egg, low and slow. Don't want to go too hot in the pan, just kind of let the egg cook very, very gently so you don't get any that tough browning on the bottom of the egg. Something just so beautiful about a fried egg, something so simple, just something that uh, just the sight of makes you happy. Okay, once the rice is done and out of the wok, there's really only one way to finish this dish. And if you want to make friends with a chef, it's the old fried egg. There's nothing like it. This is exactly how we serve it at Lakshan. The egg is also not only beautiful, but when the yolk gets mashed up into the egg, it literally just creates a, a, a richness and a depth of flavor. It almost creates a sauce. It's really making me hungry right now. There you have heirloom black rice with lapsong sausage and fried egg.